today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series, the Build-A-Figure of Marvel's Rhino. We're having a look at Marvel's White Tiger. Spot just said a whole bunch of Marvel in that opening of the review, uh, because Marvel is everywhere on this package. Marvel's White Tiger, Marvel up the top, Marvel Legend Infinite Series, and Marvel's Rhino featured up at the top of the package. We figured we'd start, first start the review, of course, with the torso, and then we'll build all the pieces onto that to get ourselves the completed Marvel's Rhino. Uh, Marvel's White Tiger uh, it doesn't look like a bad figure. Kind of not as wow factor as maybe some of the other figures in this line, but needless to say, we'll finish up the all the figures in the set, eventually building our very own Rhino. On the side is White Tiger. On the other side, White Tiger on the back. Endowed with martial art powers by the Jade Tiger Amulets, Angela Del Toro is White Tiger. Other figures down below, the to complete Rhino, you have Scarlet Spider, Superior Venom, Heroes for Hire, and they actually don't list, sadly, the name. I don't know why they don't, but they have White Tiger. We have, once again, Savage Force, but they don't actually say Craven. And then we've got Heroes for Hire, but again, not listing Ghost Rider. And Savage Force, once again, not listing Chameleon. Very difficult, I must say. And I'm speaking really on behalf of a parent that, once again, if going looking for these for their children, they're looking on the back and they're like, okay, Jeremy needs Heroes for Hire. Uh, excuse me, do you have Heroes for Hire? And they're like, well, no, we, no, no, we don't. Oh, I don't know, that's the one he needs. He needs Heroes for Hire. Uh, I don't know, Hasbro. www.hasbro.com forward slash Spider-Man, though, if you would like to check out more from the folks over at Hasbro. That being said, Spot's going to take a break. Going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Marvel's White Tiger. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Just before we have a look at White Tiger, let's have a look at the very impressive torso, which will ultimately become the Rhino. It has a nice rhino skin texture to it. There's really not, truthfully, much I can sell this figure piece on. It's because he's missing torso. He, well, he has his torso. He's missing his legs, his arms, and his head. Also to note, I find the torso piece, the little crunch on the torso, to be a little on the loose side. That's a bit of a shame. Speaking of which, as a segue, Misty Knight was the other figure in this set to include this build-a-figure torso piece. Funny enough though, she's categorized as, different, as a different grouping than White Tiger here. She's actually paired with Ghost Rider. Funny enough though that she does have the same torso piece. I think a lot of times they tend to put the same category class figures just so works itself out that she happens to be a female and females tend to usually get the torso pieces. But I kind of found that, I don't know why I giggled to myself thinking of that, but I just felt the need to point that out. Speaking of also pointing out, I also want to point out that this torso is about the size of White Tiger. She's very small in size, also very small compared to the very large torso. So looking forward to getting Rhino put together. We're just going to put his torso to the side and let's have a look at the figure. Figure is very white, lives up to the name White Tiger. She is very, very white in color. I believe she is the same uh, body build as the spider girl that we've had a look at before generally the smaller framed smaller characters usually are using this this body mold um it's not bad the thing is though as i've mentioned in previous reviews too if you don't have much invested interest into a character then a figure that's released of him or her or it it just does not wow you as much as i think perhaps like, I'm thinking of the figures that I'm really interested in this in this set, and I'd be looking at the likes of Ghost Rider, Craven, Scarlet Spider. I don't really see myself saying, oh, wow, really want to get my hands on the White Tiger here. Um, facially, she's wearing a mask, so you can't really quite make out, obviously, jet features in the eyes. The eyes are nice in the fact that they're green. They pop amongst the white, but there's so much white going on here. So much white. She's got the little gray stri uh, stripes on her waist, as well as on her shoulders. 
Got the little amulet going on there as well, which also matches the same color of her eyes. The hair is sculpted nice. I will give credit to that. Can't, it doesn't look like you can move the hair or anything like that. Maybe there's a little bit of posability to the hair, but not enough to, uh, to start messing around with it. But I do like the sculpt on the hair. I think that's pretty, pretty impressive. But it's very bare bones. There's not a lot going on with this figure. Uh, the addition of the clawed sculpted hands are a nice touch. I like that. Of course, plays very well into the character. But aside from that, there's really not much to be said for the figure. I will say, though, at least the paint is really clean. I mean, granted, you could say, well, the figure is all white. What mess, what fuss could there be? But there could be a potential as you know, paint could be smeared. It looks like though it is a white plastic and then they've just painted the stripes over top of that. In the way of her posability, again, there's really not much to be said detail-wise for the figure itself, but in the way of her posability, her head is on a ball joint, rotates up and down, all the way around, technically if you wanted to. Hinged shoulders, which also rotate, of course, all the way around. She has a hinge in the elbow which you have to be careful, the hinge is over here, so her arm would bend here. So you wanna make sure you have it bent the right way so it does not break. And actually, right there, you see as you bend it, it's applying a little bit of force to the elbow. So be careful, make sure you know which way you're supposed to be bending this arm. The longer bend, the longer hinge, is the side that's not supposed to bend, as you can see. Not very uh, keen, on the way that that bend works. I feel like that's adding a lot of stress to the arm and that this could potentially, yeah, I'm, I'm already fighting with this elbow. It does have a swivel point in the hand as well as in the wrist. She has an upper torso ball joint. And finally, legs. Legs, no problem there. They move very easily, forward and back. Swivel at the thigh, a double bend at the knee. Swivel at the top of the boot, as well as the hinge in the foot. Not a bad figure, but again, again, I don't have a lot of invested interest, to be honest, with a figure, a character such as White, uh, White Tiger here. I guess, I suppose, for what she is, the figure does a pretty good job of the figure, but of the character, but there's really not a lot pulling me into this. It, it's kind of the equivalent of uh, Blizzard, Blizzard from the previous wave that we had a look at. It was okay. But, uh, you know, at least that had a little bit more going on for it. But again, like, if you don't have a lot of invested interest in figures or the characters, the figure can just come across being okay. And this figure is, well, exactly that. It's okay. It is kind of like the start. It is kind of like a very uninteresting salad that you're eating, waiting for the delicious steak or main course to come. I'm waiting for the main course, and I'm kind of just getting through the salad. I hate to say, that's what White Tiger is. She is the salad leading up to the steak. Certainly stay tuned, though, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.